Hi, this is George Cow, and here's a simple way to price your services. This method has helped a lot of people that I've taught this to, and this is also a method I myself use. So I hope it helps you as well, and as always, I'm open to your questions. So there are four steps. The first step is to write down what your costs are, both for your life and for your business. So what are your financial needs at this time? The second step is to write down what your estimated sales are, meaning uh, how many clients you expect to have in a given period of time, for example, the coming year. Uh, the third step is to divide your financial needs, your cost, by the estimated number of sales that you expect to have. And then the fourth step is to adjust your per unit price, because when you divide the cost by the estimated number of sales, you come up with a per unit price or per client that would pay you price. And then the, f the fourth and final step is to adjust that price based on what the peers are charging in your industry. You can adjust it higher or lower um, based, on, based on your courage and based on what you want to achieve in your business. So let me give you a quick example with actual numbers. So let's say that you look at your life costs and you, know, you look at rent or mortgage, you look at your food, you look at your, your you know, occasional travel, um, and you look at your health insurance and other, other costs. You know, look at your credit card statement, look at your bank statement to look at what your average costs are. And be sure to also look at your business costs. Um, for example, you might have you know, website hosting costs or mailing list uh, that you pay for ongoingly, online shopping card. Maybe you have a calendaring or scheduling tool you pay for. Maybe you employ a couple of freelancers every now and then. Maybe you pay commissions to promotional partners. So look at all those costs. Let's say that combined, your costs are, uh, let's just use the number, $4,500 a month. Okay, now remember to account for income taxes. So let's say that where you live, if you count for uh, national as well as state income taxes, you come up with 25% uh, total uh, income tax bracket. So you've d what you do, if you have 25% in taxes, you take your, your needs, your $4,500 is what you need every month, you divide that by 0 0.75. That's 1 minus 0 0.25. It's 25% in taxes. That means 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. Divide 4,500 your needs by 0 0.75, and you come up with $6,000 is what you need before you pay taxes. Okay? And you may want to watch this video again to kind of get those numbers straight. So $6,000 a month. If you multiply by 12 months, that means you, have to, you, have, you need $72,000 a year before taxes. Now, let's estimate how many sales you expect to make in the, in the next 12 months. Let's say you, you expect to average two new clients a month, and let's say you have zero right now. You expect to average two new clients a month. That means 24 clients in the next 12 months. Now, how much would you need to make per client per sale? Uh, so 72,000 is, is what you need before taxes divided by 24 clients in the next 12 months in the year, right? You come up with $3,000 per client. Now, if each client were paying you per month, that's $250 a month that they would be paying you for. The final step is to adjust by what your peers are charging. So if you feel your services are really good based on compared to your peers, you can charge more. If you feel you want to serve more people, that means you charge less because then more people would be more interested in your services if, if it costs less. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about this method or any questions you want me to answer in a future video. And until then, take care.